this is Kalina's Animal Channel. And this is my big turtle, Tuga. She is a big river turtle. She is actually a tortoise, I think. I know she's kind of muddy, but it's just that that's how she looks in her natural habitat. Big turtles like this one need a big space to wander around and swim. They like swimming because they have webbed feet. They can bite, so you better be careful in holding them. Now, what you should do with these is you should give them turtle food if you ever get one. And they like to swim a lot. So you should have them in a big container with a lot of space. If you can, you should have like a little planter or an old um, watering, an old watering cup or whatever, and put it right there so she can get in and have her own little home. And they're really fast, see? And strong, too. And they are very slow. <coughs> Except for this one. She's not. She's fast. <laughs> These, like this little baby turtle here, are my little freshwater baby turtles. This one here is mine. She's the smallest of all of them. And she likes hiding and swimming around. Look at the designs on her back. They're really interesting. Now they have these eye designs on their back to scare big predators away because then they think that it's a big animal with a bunch of eyes staring at them. Now they have webbed feet and they like swimming, see? They're like her, just it's small. They can grow, um, I bet her size, like, stop walking, <laughs> and they can crawl around, too. Now, these little guys here were raised in a pet store, so they only eat turtle food. And they only eat that. So, but this big turtle here can eat almost any turtle food. It can be koi food, like the one we have, that are like little orange sticks. And you put them in the water, and they'll go swimming and get them. And put them in their mouth, obviously. And these little guys, you almost take care of them the same way as her. Now at this big one, you don't really want to put her out in your garden because she might try to escape. What you should do with this big one and these tiny ones over here too is to put them in a big container or turtle habitat outside and let them get sun. If you have dogs like I do, you should try locking up your dogs or having them in the house when you get them out. If you live in a small partner, apartment or something, you should have them next to the window where they can get a lot of sun daily. This turtle here is a snapping turtle. That's why she has that big mouth and this square looking head. If they have a head like that, that means that they're gonna snap. And this one's kind of scared here, so I'm gonna put her on the floor. Look how she moves. She's going to fall off of the table if she keeps doing this. Now, back to the tiny ones. These little guys here like having rocks, similar to this one. It can be any color rocks, but make them not be painted or with any toxic stuff on them. They can't be painted rocks because they can get sick because of the chemicals. Okay, so what they usually do um, is we'll walk around 
swim around and go inside of their little cages. Sometimes they're really entertaining because they'll go up inside of their little homes, they'll wander around, they'll swim around. If you have them in a nice big swimming place or green room like we have this big green turtle here, they'll wander around. It'll be way funnier because they wander so funny and they walk up and down every single rock. But these little turtles, like this one big here, this big turtle right here can eat fishes too. Especially if they're native of, if they're native of rivers, not of pet stores. Then the, if you put real fishes in it, in a little fish tank or wherever you have them, they will eat the fishes. Just make sure they're little common river fishes like guppies and other fishes similar to those. And that's all I have for today. See you for the next time on Kalina's Animal Channel.